Frozen 2. I love Frozen. I love doll cakes. I love dresses. I love creating, which is why I'm creating two more Frozen doll cakes. Hello, my name is Sissy Spacek. Let's get started. Now, just like all of the doll cakes before this one, I'm gonna show you some recycled footage. <laughs> all of my doll cakes pretty much go through the exact same process. I bake a cake in my Wilton's doll cake pan, take it out, cut it into three equal layers, and add some buttercream in between each layer. You can do four layers, I do three because I like where it falls on the waist of the doll. Once I finished giving my cake a crumb coat, I started to create my first doll cake, which was Anna. Oh, look at that belt. That's Cree Anna. I'm covering my cake in a very large piece of fondant. This is about 10 inches in diameter. Now I'm creating folds, not smoothing it out so that I've got some fabric folds. It'll look like the bottom of a dress has a lot of flow. What color is this? It's kind of like a, a Burmese tan. Ooh, if somebody spilled a whole can of white paint in it. Almost like a champagne color. Now I gave my doll cake a very basic top. And then I'm adding some panels of fondant to create more fabric. Look at that. These panels just make it look like it's flowing. I use these on almost every dress. This was on the last on a dress I created. Now if you wanna see my first Frozen 2 doll cakes, there's a link for you in the description box. These are pretty stunning. I think the house cake in this one is my favorite as well. I want to make sure that my panels look like the rest of the cake, which is why I'm using some fondant tools to kind of just blend it into the top. I'm also adding some lines to make it look like fabric folds. It looks like the fabric's being pulled while she's swirling. Oh, I've never seen anyone else do that, so I'm very proud. Did I come up with that? I think I came up with that. You did a good job. Now we've got this really nice purple belt that goes around her waist and I love how it just falls to the bottom on the side. Ooh, and this, man, this shawl. Is that what it's called? I think so. It looks like this could take a lot of time to create, but really what it is is just a circle that I molded to the top of the doll. See, just a circle and you get this really nice shape. To create a lot of the details on Anna's dress, I'm using some royal icing. So now, ooh, now we got like, oh, uh, it's the same. It's like a Burmese tan. I'm creating the same detail that's on the dress that she wears in the movie. Just altering it a little bit to fit the panels that I created for the cake. I'm adding a little detail with some, ooh, what color is this? Oh, I get so excited when I get to use my cards. So we got a little bit of a cherry berry, and we also got a little bit of a mahogany cherry. And I wanted to upgrade this dress just a little bit. So I'm painting all of my Burmese Tan royal icing with some gold luster dust. Oh, it's gonna shine so well. Now the top, I thought it was a little bit too plain. So I'm adding some sprinkles to the top just so that it sparkles. That's what I really wanted it to do. You sparkle, shine Anna. Shine as bright as your sister. That was one thing I was always worried about was because Elsa has so many powers, would Anna be overshadowed? I'm kind of curious. I haven't seen the movie yet. Please don't spoil it for me. Don't. Okay, well, maybe I have seen it when this is posted, so you can spoil it for me. That's fine. 
It's not gonna be the end of the world, although I heard the end of the world is coming pretty soon. <laughs> Once I finished with that, I finished my on a doll cake and wow, look at all that glitter. The detail, the shawl, and all of that is just beautiful. Now let's move on to our Elsa cake. Now to create Elsa, I'm covering my entire cake with a 10 inch circle of blue fondant. And what kind of blue do we got here? Do I have this? Man, I need to get more colors. I don't have anything light. How terrible is that? It's kind of like a, a sanctuary spa, but like 15 shades lighter. It's so light. I just tried to mimic the color that was on the dress. Let's create Elsa's top. I'm starting with white to create the shirt underneath her jacket. And then I'm creating her jacket with two panels. And I screwed up on this <laughs> because the panels don't wrap around the back completely. And I was supposed to hide it with a cape, but I forgot to put the cape. So <laughs> when this cake spins, you can totally see how trashy the back of this dress looks. <laughs> But that's okay, I'm fine with that. I'm adding sleeves and then adding some shoulder pads just to give her collar a little bit more height. You see, you have to add the sleeves separately or else it, I don't know, it just takes too long to create. Now once I did that, it was time to add some painted detail. So I'm using some white luster dust that I diluted with a little bit of magic sauce. And I've got this really thick brush and I'm just kind of splattering some of the luster dust on to give it some um, silver accents. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the cake. Now I am gonna add some panels to the top and because we have some silver at the bottom, it's just gonna look like the skirt underneath her dress, which is what I wanted it to look like. So I've got four panels of the same blue fondant and I just place them at an angle. They're all shaped like triangles. I just folded one corner to make it look like it's moving. I just like Anna's dress, I'm blending the top of the skirts to the rest of the cake so that it looks like the fabric's being pulled as she spins. Simple, right? Now I wanted to add a lot more color to the bottom of this dress. The top of this dress goes from like a really soft blue to the bottom, which is a really nice purple. And to execute this, I'm using the exact same technique that I used for the bottom of the dress. Um, and I'm starting with a light purple that works its way up to the middle of the cake. And then the bottom of the cake, I'm using a really dark luster dust. Now this is where my favorite part comes in. Now I wanted to incorporate a lot of Elsa's ice power, so I did that by using some blue rock candies. Now I wet the cake with a little bit of magic sauce and I'm just sticking some rock candy in, and I'm just working it in between the panels that I placed on the dress. So then it looks like her skirt's just coming alive with some ice magic. Cause there's that poster all over LA where her hands are like this and she's just like pushing the magic out. Oh, I wish I could do that. I'm adding a tiny bit of detail to her shoulder pads and just creating some very small snowflakes. After that, my Elsa doll cake was complete. Look at all of that rock candy, man. This is definitely way better than the Anna cake, I'm sorry. But this rock candy does so much to upgrade this dress. And I love how all of the different colored blues work with the purple detail at the bottom. I think that looks stunning. Um, I'm not saying that Anna's dress is terrible because I love the detail that I added with the royal icing. And I just like the overall presence that this dress has and how it works with her hair color. But, yo, nothing compares to this Elsa cake. I want to create another Elsa cake just because I want to work with the crystal candy again. Which one of these cakes do you like? But actually, let's do a comparison between these cakes and the cakes from my previous video. Which one of these Elsa doll cakes do you like best? And which one of these Anna doll cakes do you like best? If you wanna see more of my frozen content, you can check out my new channel, Mighty Mix. 
old content, new content, and just stuff that I wasn't able to post on Quality Pops right away. I'm one person, that's why. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this and I hope you love Frozen 2 as much as I do. I haven't seen it yet, but also when this is posted, I might have. I probably have. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!